So you want to go bike packing, but don't know what to carry or where to carry it. In this mini video series, I will be covering just that, so stick around. This series will be a three-part series, starting with the front of the bike and ending with the rear. I hope you enjoy and that you find useful or helpful information in these videos. Today we will focus on the handlebars. Up front, I have two main bags, one for my sleeping system and one for my camera. Let's start with the camera bag. This is an Oveja Negra chuck bucket. Used by a lot of people to carry water bottles, Nalgene's, or snacks, but I keep it strictly for my camera and tripod. It makes stopping for a video or picture super easy and quick. The camera I use on rides and trips is a Sony A5100 with a 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens. The tripod that accompanies that camera is the Manfrotto Pixie. I tuck the tripod into the back mesh pocket of the chuck bucket. I also stow my knife there. I believe this back pocket was intended for phones, but it works great for just about anything that can fit there. Knife, tripod, multi-tool, whatever works. The next bag up front is a two-part setup. The main bag is a porcelain rocket nugget, and the system that holds it is the Oveja Negra front loader. Let's dive into the contents of this bag. In the bag, I carry my sleeping system. How I carry it is something important that you might want to apply to your own setup. My sleeping system consists of three items. The first is an Outdoor Research Helium Bivy. Now I'm going to be completely honest, I am brand new to the world of bivy camping. The only reason I jumped in was for the sake of packing weight and size. With other trips, I have tied my tent poles to the top tube and shoved the tent liner into my front bag. The Helium Bivy offers a nice lightweight shelter if the skies choose to cry. The optional pole for extra headspace is a must for me as I usually like to read when camping. Inside the bivy, I have a Sea to Summit insulated sleeping pad. I have nothing but good things to say about this pad. It is incredibly easy to blow up and take down, packs down small, and is light enough for me. And finally, the last component of my sleeping setup is the Aegis Max Down Sleeping Bag. Very well known among ultralight backpackers as a great bargain bag. $80 on Amazon and you get a three season bag that packs into a super small stuff sack. Here is my old sleeping bag for reference. And here is a pocket knife for reference. Now having talked about what I pack, let's talk about how I pack it. For this, I ditch each one of the individual stuff sacks. Lay them out how you would set them up, the bivy holding the sleeping bag and the sleeping pad within it. I then collapse the tent poles and roll it all tightly into a nice package. This makes it super easy to set up and take down. It also gives the porcelain rocket bag a solid shape to put inside the Oveja Negra front loader. Well, that's the end of part one of the mini series. I'm interested to know, how does this sleeping setup compare to your own? Drop an answer in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if this video helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe. Parts two and three are coming up. Till then, remember to stay stoked on Spokes.